and gives Christmas its meaning. Brings God lots of glory. Sit back and relax, as I tell. In the town of Nazareth, a village in Galilee, lived a young virgin whose name was Mary. She was engaged to get married. Joseph was his name, a descendant of King David. Who can make that claim? God sent to her an angel, one of the greatest was he. His name was Gabriel. He heard a tell will come to me. As the day began to settle, and it turned to night, he appeared in Mary in a bright ball of light. Greetings, favorite woman, he said as he looked and continued to say, The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary was taken aback. Oh, what could the angel be? She couldn't think Jack. Don't be afraid, Mary, you found favor with God above. You will conceive and give birth to a son you will love. You will name him Jesus, he will be very great, he will be called the Son of the Most High, for this is his fate. He will reign over Israel forever and ever. His kingdom will not end, no, no, never. His ancestor, King David's throne, he will receive. Lord God will give to him, but you must believe. But I am a virgin, how can this happen? She asked the angel, his wings still flapping. The Holy Spirit will engulf you with power from the Most High. The baby will be born holy. What I tell you is no lie. Behold your relative Elizabeth, who is old and barren. The news I give to you, you are both sharing. For she has conceived a little baby and is now in her sixth month. For God can do anything, and he does do a bunch. I am the Lord's servant, responded Mary. Let what you say come true. A baby will I carry. That angel left her lickety split. The story's getting pretty good, I have to admit. But like the angel said, the Holy Spirit came upon her, and pregnant she became. Surprise for that, sir. <laughs> Joseph, her fiance, was confused by all of this. The baby she was having, but it was not his. Not wanting to disgrace her, for he was a good man, he chose to quietly call off the wedding, but then, as he considered this carefully, the angel appeared in his dream. He explained to Joseph, they were all on the same team. Joseph, son of David, the angel said with a loud tone, don't be afraid to take Mary as your own. For the child within is conceived by the Holy Spirit. A son she will have, his reign will have no limits. You will call him Jesus, he said with a grin, for he will save all the people from their sin. So they became married with a bun in the oven, and give thanks to the Lord, for he's so loving. Now over to Rome to meet Augustus, the Roman emperor, who wanted a census. Go back to your hometown as what he required. This he demanded of the whole Roman Empire. Joseph was from Bethlehem, the city of Judea, a long way from pregnant Mary. Mamma mia. So they traveled from Nazareth in Galilee, and walked, and then they walked, and made it finally. Shepherds were staying in the fields nearby, protecting their sheep from wolves that could cry. An angel appeared to those shepherds in the field. Good news he had to be revealed. Frightened they were, but he said, do not worry, a savior is born, but you must hurry. He will bring great joy to all the people. He is Messiah the Lord, but he must look eastward. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven praising God for all his wonders. Peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased, said the angels, every single one, all of these. Glory to God in the highest heaven, they continue to say, and rejoice and were glad. The Savior was born that day. Some wise men from the east arrived in the town searching for that baby that would wear the crown. We saw a star as it rose, the newborn king of the Jews. For us and for all, this is very good news. We come here and give into worship. Where should we go? The people answered, the prophets, they know. They wrote long ago in Bethlehem in Judea. With this confirmed, those wise men said, see them. They followed the bright stars that led them to the child and stopped over a manger. They all smiled. And it came time for that baby to be born. Mary and Joseph from the trip were quite worn. But there was no room in the inn or hotel. The only place left was a manger to dwell. Mary gave birth to her first child, a son, and gave praise to the Lord for all he had done. The 
the shepherds gave us see the new baby boy, and found him in that manger, and rejoiced with joy. The wise men entered, and saw that child with his mother, and bowed and gave gifts, one after another. They gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, for he was to be a mighty king, that was for sure. The child was born to us on that day, wonderful counselor, mighty God, or what we say, everlasting father and prince of peace. The joy he brings will never cease. This is the story of God of above, the angels and servants, and his great love. There's more to the story, it's great because it's true. That savior that gave wants to save you.